What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Hope all of you and your families had an excellent Thanksgiving. There is so much sports on right now, man. Between you get the World Cup, college football, pro football on Sundays, it's fun. What a tumultuous week this has been for the Jets. A ridiculously disappointing loss to the Patriots. You had the solid putting Zach Wilson on notice to actually benching Zach Wilson for Mike White. So the aftermath of that. And you head into Sunday's game against Chicago Bears where it's, to me, it's a, it's a very important win. It's a bounce back game. It's a get right game because you're still in the playoff mix. You still have a shot at the division. You know, the Patriots lost, obviously the Bills won, but you're still in the mix of everything and you got to find a way to win. And to me personally, I think the move to Mike White is going to galvanize this locker room. It put everybody on notice and sent a very strong message where everybody's going to be held accountable. We demand more and we expect more from everybody. So I think on offense, obviously there's a lot of varying opinions on Mike White. But I think the whole thing is here, it just manage the offense and run it. You know, run the football. He get he tends to get rid of the ball quickly. He spreads it around. You're not asking him to be a hero. Just manage the game effectively. And that should be enough to win this game. I think you I think everybody is gonna bring their game to another level here. Now I understand it's gonna be a lot of rain and the weather's not supposed to be nice, but I, I think they're gonna be crisp. I think they're gonna all I just for, this could be just me being a homer or just a fan or maybe believing in this move and thinking I think it's just they're gonna see a really sharp game. Getting Corey Davis back hurt, helps a lot. I'm hoping that Herbig plays here, but uh as of now I think he's supposed to. But uh, I hope he plays. And I think that the Jets offense should have a solid day and do enough. And then I think that this game will honestly be, be won by the running game and the Jets dominant defense. Now, I don't think Justin Fields is gonna play. If he does play, he'll be, you know, very limited. His his success recently has been from running the ball. I'm not sure how many big hits he wants to take and do all this with an um, injured shoulder. So if it is Trevor Simeon, I mean, I think they're going to tee off on him and dominate. I, I don't – I mean, we've seen Trevor Simeon as Jet fans. He's a, he's a very limited quarterback, and they don't have enough um, out the game-breaking talent to actually challenge this defense. Now, that can sound kind of arrogant, and I've been wrong many times before, but – you know, they have, what, Darnell Mooney, you have Cole Komet, you have David Montgomery. But, I mean, I think the Jets secondary and Gardner and Reed can pretty much shut down, you know, most most offenses. And then you allow this defensive front to get after it and, you know, and sack the quarterback. So I, I expect a, a pretty much a dominant effort here. And, you know, again, it's just this is a must win. I think they're going to be at home. I think the move to Mike White's going to have the crowd fired up as well. And uh, so if you had to do a score prediction here, I'm going to say like 20 to 10. I think if Justin Fields plays, they may be a little spark and may keep it a little bit interesting. So, like, if it's if Justin Fields plays, I'll say it's maybe 20 to 13. And if Simeon plays, it's 20 to 10. I, I just think the Jets are the better team. They're going to flex their muscle a little bit. They're going to come out with some anger, some passion, some energy. And honestly, I hope Mike, Mike White plays well. They just keep things moving along, man. Like, you, gotta, you just got to stay in the hunt. You got to find ways to win. And I think they'll do so on Sunday. Have a good day.